What is up? What is going on? I'm your host, Drew. This is What's for Dinner. Okay, so for these, these LA Street Dogs, they also have many other names. Let's go over the, the list here. Uh, Danger Dog, Death Dog, Tijuana Dog. Let's go with LA Street Dog. I'm just going with Nathan's. I know, it's a little obscure. Uh, New York style. These are bun length um, Nathan's hot dogs. And I was going to get some different buns, but I always buy these, these sunny buns. They're by Heiner's, they're cheap, but if you're going to go with the LA street dog, you have to have mayonnaise, preferably squeezed mayonnaise, and uh, just mild yellow mustard, any kind will do. Same way goes for the mayo. And uh, we're going with Heinz tomato ketchup. I have here, I have um, some sliced up red pepper, bell pepper, uh, capsaicin, if you're in Australia. Um, some green bell pepper. This is uh, some thinly sliced Vidalia onions, sliced and also quartered. And then I'll show you how I'm going to cut up this jalapeno when I'm done and then signature you have to have um, your your hot dog has to be bacon wrapped so this is just Smithfield um, this is the hometown original you do not want thick cut bacon for this or if you're wrapping anything you just want your regular cut bacon and I want to get this griddle over here fired up we may use some toothpicks as well to try to keep the bacon wrapped hot dog together. Again, I want to get it ripping hot. We'll be right back. Okay, so I got the pan on. I'm trying to get it all warmed up and whatnot. See if I can't make this a little easier to see. I got my Smithfield. You can go with any kind of bacon you want. This looks a little long. So. I would say Let's see if I can't yep there you go what I'm gonna do though is take one of these toothpicks and see if I can't make it the bacon stay a little easier so that's the old trick bacon doesn't stay it's not what it's supposed to be and you almost want the toothpick a little flat that way it stays out of the way just remember to take those out we'll be right back so if you want this jalapeno a little less mild, um, you would want to cut through it. And then also um, you would take out the ribs and the chili flakes that are inside of it. Um, but since I don't really care about that, I'm just going to cut this regular and make some slices. Um, yes, this will be spicy. And then again, if you only want to use half of it, you'll still leave the uh, stem on there and it will keep it more fresh. But let's see here. Quite a bit of jalapeno. So we got the griddle ripping hot. At least it should be. Um, I'm going to try to leave off some of these jalapenos for now. I don't want to get too many seeds in there. But I know these peppers are going to take a little bit longer just with how thick they are. They're not even thick, they're thin. We'll just go ahead with the onion as well. And here in a minute, we'll get the uh, hot dogs on. Okay. 
I'm going to put some of this, um, I don't know if you can see it, a Zang's, House of Zang stir fry oil. It's a uh, cotton seed infused with garlic, onion, herbs, high heat cooking. Um, rather than seasoning it, I'm just doing it this way. A little bit goes a long way. I can already smell it. Okay, forgot to mention that I'm at uh, medium high heat on the griddle. Leave that. A little bit more zangs went down. I'm gonna put the dogs right on. They're already sticking. I'm gonna get some oil on there. Get these flipped around here in a minute. I need to level this out, that's why I don't have it. We'll stick the buns on there here in a minute, but I want to make sure these are cooked all the way through, and I want to make sure they don't stick. Going down. Okay, a lot of the grease and the fat down there. I need to get a little test on these buns. We'll go further down. Shouldn't take much. Maybe a minute or so. We've already been going for about 10 minutes. We're not even a minute in. Look at that. Grill is still sizzling. Let's build these hot dogs. I'll make sure I remove my toothpicks. Jalapenos on there. You have to get with the staple. Hey, hey! <laughs> Every time I do one of these videos, something happens. We'll see if that that'll make it into the uh, thumbnail. Oh, Mr. Creepy Face Cam. <laughs>
please remember to like, share. Also, please remember to subscribe. We appreciate everybody out there that watches. Check us out on social media, Instagram, 